Believe me, Sky. I get it. I can't stand the loss of your loved ones and your home. It's not when one hero like you will forget that easily. But allowing yourself to be consumed by hatred is not going to give anything back. That hatred will only destroy yourself. Você não precisa ser assim. Eu não quero que você seja igual a Black Pearl. Não desejo mal para você. Eu sei que é difícil de perder as pessoas que amamos. Mas não precisamos ser um assassino. Se continuar com esse caminho, não vai haver mais volta. Olha, eu não estou do lado de ninguém. Eu só quero te ajudar. Eu quero meu velho amigo Skywalker de volta. I'm sorry, but no. No. It's far too late for that. That hatred will only destroy yourself. I'm sorry, Daffy. I'm going to believe you are right. But it's far too late for me. My mind is made up. No, I am not doing this for myself. I'm also doing it for you. Huh? Who's there? What? Wait a minute. Wasn't that Chris? That guy from my dream? Wait, hold your fire. I mean no harm. Wait, so, you're that guy from a dream? Dream? I was not certain what you mean by that. I thought I'd search Earth for you and check up on you. Because I overheard Kratos, Elsbrock, and Darby talking about you. Of how you were going for that dark path against the villains. <sighs> I should have guessed. Darby sent you to get to bring me back, didn't you? Look, I already told Darby that it was far too late for me. My world was gone. I lost everything. And revenge best suits you? Even if you were to achieve your revenge, what were you getting in the end? Nothing but grief and more pain. Shut up! What makes you think you know anything about it? It's easy for you to talk. You have no idea! Sky, I've been through the hands of death as many times. Wait, where, where are I you? Come from? If my body only perishes, my soul is simply returned into physical form in time. So I never truly perish. With that said, you're free to shoot me if you like. But once you get your revenge, it will never end well. Even Kratos knows he will not find peace if he keeps seeking revenge. I know. <sighs> Chris, look. I can understand you're trying to help me, but... I told you already, it's too late for me. I chose this path myself. I have lost everything because of Auntie Darby and the villains that raided my home. That's why I was bent on revenge against the villains. I know Darby things is not what I want, but... It was far too late. Far too late for me to change. Hey... It's never too late to change. You can always be you. Come with me. So, Chris, are you sure you know where you're going? I feel like we're walking for miles. Of course. My port to home is not too far from here. You just had to take some cardio in order to go through it. Uh, you, I take it you really don't know. You'll see, Sky. Trust me. I know where I'm going. Oh, I hear, but what is this? Welcome to Lance Between, Sky. The Lance Between what? 
That's just near the island we're at, the lands between. More specifically, we are at Lyndale, or the Fall Room. It's not as futuristic or height, I guess whatever world you came from. But it does feel home to me. Heck, I even try searching for stuff my kids will like from time to time. Although not much, not much of a night ain't like us. That is because of a tarnished situation. But hey, we clawed us and other guys left and right. We even been slaying dragons. But don't you ever feel any sort of hatred? Your urge of revenge? How on earth can you be so calm, knowing oh yeah, there is so much pain that is ahead of you? Well, you're not wrong, Sky. There are times I do feel pain. Mostly when I see my friends feel sad. So I try to do what I could to give to give them peace of mind. Tia helped me understand, and that whether they are here or feeling, hope, fear. Love and hate will exist inside every one of us. The real question is, which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Ain't it, Chris? Oh, hey, Marco. Oh, where's my uncle? Oh, so you have to take care of the kids for us. Maybe it was my uncle's turn to take care of the kids. Wait a minute. You're married? Yeah. I'm married to Marco and Ryoko. We right now, we right now have seven kids. Well, six biological kids and one adopted one. Oh! Well, well, well. Skywalker has found some new companions. I thought he was gonna be the Lone Ranger. Surprised? You really think I'll be afraid after Auntie Dorothy was killed by you? And you, I thought, are you were wanting revenge on this village because I torched your precious pink pearl. And I assume the two of you must be, be Skywalker's teachers about understanding peace. But hey, who am I to stop you, Sky? Oh yeah, that's right. I am. Well, come on, Dami. I told told Davi I'll make you make you and the other villains pay for what you did to my home. Well, good. I always wanted to have myself a little match with you, and I'm looking forward to burning you to a crisp, just like I did to your precious pink pearl, Skywalker. No offense, but aren't gems supposed to regenerate over time? Because, unless I'm mistaken, and last time I checked, the gems can only be truly destroyed if broken. So the gems couldn't possibly be melted in instantly, idiot. You ungrateful punk! You dare talk to me like that? Perhaps I'll kill you first, nobody! <laughs> yep, that's one of my two wives. <laughs> Mako Makanchok. will be known as the Chaos Incarnate. Ugh, oh, okay. How many of you freaks do I have to get through to get to Skywalker? Oh, we're the only ones that matter, Mr. Snow White Warby. See, you mess with our husband, Chris. But now we're gonna teach you a lesson about how we're known as the Fearless Family. Seconds, keep the lucky. You know, I think it'd be a good idea to keep Dobby as a prisoner. Think of it as an oven of points. Because we help making us cupcakes, some puppets, and heck, he might even toast us marshmallows with s'mores. You might be right, Marco, but I'm not sure it's a good idea to keep you know, Phil as a prisoner or not. I don't know. Wait, wait! But well, let's not go into such lames, ladies, alright? I can tell you that to destroy a, all those gem girlfriends Dolphy and Skywalker have, you will need to find I the gemstones first. But, but, but I don't know when but they're gone after after I torch people. I swear. These guys are not human at all. 
into monsters even I could not enough face. Uh, listen, if you'll let me go, I promise I will never, ever speak of your homeland, ever. And I won't hurt your family, ever. Just leave me alone, please. Please. Yeah, what, what you said, Kyle. See, my family and I prefer happy endings. That guy, boo boo. Wait, you actually scared Dobby? Well, I don't understand. You should have fought him. Well, it would have been more intense if he decided to fight us instead of getting way scared. But Dobby doesn't know that we all have the same kind of energy. And that same energy keeps us going. I mean, no matter how tough our foes are, we push forward. Ain't that why, right, kiddos? Yay! I'm, in all honesty, speechless. Should we get Skywalker up? I'm certain he'll come to his senses. But Napping Pro and Spinel Girl? Those two are not really destroyed, are they? Not entirely sure. I don't think we can draw any conclusions till we see it for ourselves.